So NBA free agency is approaching soon and I'm expecting some big trades to go down. I thought it would be fun to go over some fun and bold trades that could happen and while they might not have a huge chance of occurring, I think the trades on this list are definitely some really interesting ones to think about. So let's go over 5 blockbuster trades that would shock the NBA. And very quickly before we get into it, if you want to see more interesting NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I really appreciate all you guys' support. So first up on this list, I have Gordon Hayward to the Los Angeles Lakers for Danny Green, KCP in a sign and trade deal, JaVale McGee if he picks up his player option, Quinn Cook, and a 2020 first round pick. So the Lakers would do this trade to get that third star next to LeBron and Anthony Davis for very cheap. In this case, they would only be giving up one true asset in this year's first round pick, which is already a late first round pick anyway, so it's nothing too crazy. The Lakers will be making the bet that Hayward can stay healthy for the entire season, and if he can do this, he is an amazing third star. He can score from anywhere on the floor, play make for others, rebound, defend a variety of positions, and he's an unselfish team player. In my opinion, he's a perfect third option, and he should thrive with his efficiency playing off of the Lakers superstars. Also in regards to his injuries, this past season his injuries were mainly freak accidents like when he got hurt after he got hit by Aldridge. I think if Hayward can in fact stay healthy, this trade will pay off huge dividends if he can do just that. But the Celtics would do this trade to get rid of a player who while is great, just can't seem to stay healthy at least with them over the past few seasons. In this deal, they will be getting a nice asset in a late first round pick, which they can use to draft a player, use to move up, or trade for a vet. Also they will be getting solid complementary players such as Green and KCP if he agrees to a sign and trade, and one of those two guys can start and shift Smart back to the bench where Marcus can lead the second unit. Also, the Celtics will be getting a solid center in JaVale McGee who is long and can protect the rim. He will be another option to put on two opposing centers in the playoffs, and he would fit in a need for Boston. Next up on this list, I have Miles Turner, Doug McDermott, Aaron Holiday, and a 2022 unprotected first round pick to Golden State for Andrew Wiggins and the 2022nd overall pick. So this is one of my favorite trades on this list, as I think this will be a win-win move for both sides. The Warriors would do this trade to get a win now player in Miles Turner, and he would be a great fit in Gold State. He can help protect the rim and match up very well against guys like Anthony Davis and Rudy Gobert in the Western Conference, and he would help space the floor with his solid 3-point shooting as a stretch 5. A starting lineup of Curry, Thompson, Peschel, Green, and Turner will be a firepower offense, and it will be a solid defense as well. Not to mention the Warriors would also be getting some other nice assets in Aaron Holiday who has the potential to be a good spark plug 6 man, and they'd also be getting another first round pick they can flip for a win now player. On the other hand, the Pacers would do this trade in a move to get a chance to pick a potential franchise player. While this year's draft isn't amazing, the number 2 overall pick is obviously an enormous asset, and they could pick up someone like Lamelo Ball who could bring some excitement and star potential to the team. This would be somewhat of a risk for the Pacers, but I think they need to make this move or they will just stagnate in mediocrity for years to come. Now we'll move on to the next trade, which I have Russell Westbrook to the New York Knicks for Julius Randle, Alfred Payton, Bobby Portis, the Clippers 2020 first round pick from the Marcus Morris trade, the Mavs 2021 first round pick from the Porzingis trade, and a future second round pick. So just for a disclaimer, I'm personally not, not a big fan of this trade, but there have been rumors that the Knicks have been looking to trade for Westbrook. If it does happen, I think it'll look something like this, and the Knicks would do this to get a star player who will bring excitement back to New York. Westbrook should thrive as a go-to guy again, and I think he could help lead the Knicks to at least a low seed playoff spot, which would be some much needed excitement for Knicks fans who haven't sniffed the playoffs since 2013. Also, they will be getting a solid mentor for Barrett, and RJ can definitely learn a lot from Russell's game, well at least besides the shooting. They wouldn't be giving up a lot of big assets in this trade as well as they're mainly giving up expiring contracts and some likely lowish first round picks. I think this wouldn't be a terrible trade for the Knicks but I just don't think going after Westbrook is the right move for them right now but we'll see what happens. The Rockets would do this trade to get out of Westbrook's brutally large contract. We don't know when Westbrook will decline and when he starts to lose his athleticism and when this does happen his game will definitely take a hit. Trading him now will take away from that risk, and Houston would also be getting some decent assets and some low first round picks. They could eventually trade away these first round picks for other vets, or they can save them for a potential rebuild. While it was super fun to watch James Harden and Westbrook play again together, they just aren't a great fit and the Rockets should rebuild around Harden with better fitting players. Randall would be solid as a playmaking for a small ball 5 to take some pressure off of James, 
Payton will be a solid defensive replacement as he's starting point guard, and Portis can bring some quick offense off the bench. It's definitely not an amazing return, but it's solid and would give the Rockets a lot of flexibility for future offseasons. Next up, I have Chris Paul to the Philadelphia 76ers for Al Horford, Zaire Smith, Mike Scott, a future first round pick, and a future second round pick. So I think this would be a great deal for both sides, especially given the direction each team is heading. The Thunder are still trying to rebuild even after a surprising season, and they will be getting some assets for an agent Chris Paul. The Thunder will be getting a future first round pick in a second as well, while also getting a chance to take a look at a recent first round pick in Zaire Smith. Also, I think they'll eventually try to trade Adams for assets at the deadline, and Horford will at least provide the team with a serviceable fill-in starting center when that happens. On the other hand, the Sixers would do this trade to get rid of a terrible fit in Horford, and Paul should be a great leader to help set the tone in Philly. He should also help control the offense next to Ben Simmons, and he's a leader who can help get Philadelphia to wins in tough situations. Paul should be a terrific fit with the Sixers, and I think this will be a fair deal for both sides. And for the final trade on this list, I have Drew Holiday and Nicolo Melli to the Denver Nuggets for Gary Harris, Will Barton, Monte Morris, Bobo, and a future first round pick. So this will be an all-in move for the Nuggets, and I think this could help push them to be a true championship contender next season. A big three of Jokic, Murray, and Holiday will be amazing, and Holiday would help unlock the defense as one of the most underrated defenders in the entire NBA. He can guard essentially almost any position except for the five even if he isn't super tall, and he should help take on the opposing team's toughest perimeter assignment. Also, he'll be great as an off-ball playmaker and scorer who can complement Jokic and Murray well, but also run the team when one of these guys needs a breather. It would be tough getting up an asset like Bobo, but if they want to win now, getting a star in Holiday would be very understandable. The Pelicans will do this trade to get a nice sum of assets for Holiday, who may leave the team once his contract is up. Bobo is a potential star with his ability to block shots and score from anywhere on offense, and getting a first round pick can be used in the future for a vet or a solid prospect. Also, the Pelicans will be getting a solid shooting guard replacement in Harris, and this move would also give Lonzo Ball full control of the offense. Not to mention, they'll also be getting a great backup point guard in Monte Morris and a very good six man in Barton when healthy. So, they would be getting a boost in their depth in this trade as well, and I think this would be a great deal for both sides. So that's a wrap, thank you guys all for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a subscribe, and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit me if you want to talk about basketball or business, just drop a comment down below on my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below on which trades you want to see this offseason, it could be one on this list or one that you made up. Let me know as I do real comments, I'm definitely interested to see what else I have to say here as well. So with all that being said, once again, thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully, I will see you in the next video. Peace.